Live from the huge country of Mexico, we are in Mexico City to show you the top three things to do while you're in the city. And we're gonna start with number one. Let's get it started. Jade Hip Hop Drop. No, 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 no funny rest of the world. First up on the list is Grutas Totalango. This is about three or four hours outside of Mexico City. Yes, I know it's a long drive, but trust me, it is worth it. Once you get here, this is gonna be the biggest, the baddest water park you have ever seen in your life. And we're about to go see it right now. I'm going to drop links to everywhere I'm going in this video. And we, you guys are going to be able to visit it just like I am. This doesn't cost that much. It's about 200 pesos, which is like about $10 to enter. Not a big deal. It's worth it. Trust me. Let's do it. Totalando Hot Springs is set on top of a volcano and the water is super, super warm. It feels like a sauna inside of the cave, underneath the waterfalls. And now we're going to Positas. That's the pools. I know I'm spelling it, saying it wrong, but you guys get it. I'll show you when we get there. You're going to love this one. You guys are gonna love it here. Trust me when I tell you. My Google Maps is gonna point you exactly where this is so you can come anytime you want to. Trust me, this is what you need in your life. probably wouldn't believe this is Mexico if I didn't tell you. That was the Posillas at Grutas Totalango. I know I'm saying it wrong, don't laugh at me. Anyway, we're gonna go see the rest of the park really fast before it gets super, super late because we still got a long drive going all the way back to Mexico City. Keep going. That was Grutas Totalangos. That was number one on our have to do in Mexico City list. Now we're gonna skip to a different day when we're gonna do number two. Okay, one of the bonus things that you need to know when you come to Mexico City is obviously the people, the food, and the city itself. All those three things we're gonna count as one bonus thing. I'm gonna show you one taco place to go right now. Okay, Taqueria de Lisco is one of those other places that is a staple of Mexico City. They got the specialty meats, the specialty tacos, and <laughs> yeah, trust me, this is one of those places that you definitely want to go see. Again, just like I'm doing everything else, all of my links to everywhere you see in these videos are going to be in my Google Maps, so you can see them. They're going to be down in the link in the description. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, this is day two and stop number two on the three things that we definitely need to see when you come to mexico city we're about 45 minutes an hour outside of mexico city and i know i know it's a little bit of a trip and it's super early it's not even five o'clock yet so what i'm going to do is before we get into the activity i'm going to introduce you to today's sponsor and you're going to love it and then we're going to jump right into it so i'm going to throw you over to future me and here we go back in LA family and you know what I was thinking have you guys ever been to a new city and don't know where to go don't know where to eat don't know how much things cost well guess what today's sponsor global citizen maps by me is going to help you with that problem I've created thousands of points on Google Maps where you guys can find exactly the places that I went to in my videos, exactly the attractions that I went to in my videos, how much things cost, what to order from certain restaurants, yada, 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 on down the line, and it's right on Google Maps. I hope you guys support my new business. It's gonna be called Global Citizen Maps and it's gonna be for hundreds of cities around the world. Right now, it's about maybe five or 10 cities on there, but eventually I'm gonna be putting a new city on there every single week. And like I said, it's gonna be accessible to you guys right there on your phone so you have nothing to worry about. I hope you guys support my company. Let's get back 
to the video. Let's go. And just like that, we're back. Back in the fields back there, you probably can't see it, but there's a big giant truck with a huge balloon and we are going ballooning over Teotihuacan, the pyramids right near Mexico City. You guys are gonna love this one, I promise you. This is the thing that you absolutely cannot miss. Let's get over to the balloon. Once they blow it up, we're gonna get in, go over the pyramids and yeah, you guys are gonna see. Let's go. what we got up early in the morning for we're going over the pyramids was the hot air balloon over at Teotihuacan, the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of Moon. After this company, Flying Pictures Mexico, they are treating us to breakfast. So we get to get breakfast, a buffet breakfast, and it's everything that you're gonna want. They got eggs, bacon, um, even vegetarian options, they got everything. So this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna eat breakfast and chill out. But that was stop number two. And in exploring the city, this is the Zocalo, a square in the right in the center of the city where hundreds of Mexicans come to celebrate their festivals, hang out, chill, just like a big giant square in the middle of the city. This is one of the stops that we're going to check out while we're exploring the city. And we got a couple more things for you, so let's go check it out. Just like I promised, on the third thing that you need to do when you come to Mexico City is try out the markets. The markets has everything for sale, food, fruits, even bugs. And we're gonna try some. So let's head to San Juan Mercado or Mercado San Juan. Anyway, I'm gonna have everything on the Google points that I'm gonna share with you guys after this video. You can check them in the link in the description. Here we go. San Juan in the spirit of trying new things, we're going to try cockroaches for the first time. Mm. Hunting. This is mezcal 
the scorpion babies. Tequila. I'm gonna try some scorpion. Why not? That's some worms. It's crunchy. One of the simpler and cheaper things to do in Mexico City is ride the cable cars above the city. There are multiple cable cars to ride in the city and this one specifically is Cable Car Line 2. And I chose this one because it has the Guinness Book of World Records of the longest cable car ride in the entire world. To ride the cable cars, you have to get a Metro card. The cards cost about 22 pesos and they deduct each ride from the card when you start riding. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Something I definitely recommend to do in the city. And needless to say, this Metro station with Cable Car Line 2 is gonna be on my Google Maps in the link in the description below. culture while I'm in the city, I'm at a Lucha Libre match in Mexico City. Let's do it. One Lucha Libre match down in the books. That was something I would definitely do again, 100%. I actually loved it. That's probably gonna wrap it up for my time in Mexico City. And I'm gonna leave you guys with those three things that you must, must, must do when you come to the city. You have to go to the hot air balloon ride. You have to go to the Grutas Totalangas. You have to. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you guys get the idea. And like I said before, the third thing is gonna be a three-parter. It's gonna be the food, the people, and the city. And I explored it all. I'm mad I'm not gonna have time to go do a whole bunch of things that I really wanted to do, but I have a list and I wanna give it to you guys. All of my list of things that you saw in this video and even things that I didn't even get a chance to do is gonna be in my Google list down in the link in the description. You guys can check it out. I want you guys to have a great time when you come to Mexico City, just like I did. And you know how this goes. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.